everybody, it's Colette with Blessing Scrap Therapy with another project. Friends, so many of you have been asking how I print on fabric and all the things. Let me show you how I do it. So I'm using contact paper. Yep, contact paper. And I cut it down to eight and a half by 11. Um, I take the backer off, save that. We're going to need it for later. And then first we're going to use, this is drop cloth. I just got a big sheet of drop cloth from Home Depot, cut it down to eight and a half by 11, put it on our contact paper, and then we're going to just trim it up, make sure that it's the same size, but you don't want to have any of the sticky part sticking out, right? Um, just, you know, rough. You know how I don't, I can't cut a straight line, so it's okay if it's a little bit off. I'm a little off and I'm okay. <laughs> Sorry, I digress. So all I'm doing is just trimming the edges. Um, a lot of people will ask why I would do this instead of using like the spray adhesive. I can't because of allergies. So this is a good alternative. Here it is in my computer. I mean, my printer. Don't mind the dust. Mind your business. <laughs> and then I just print it normally. And look at how much fun. Are you kidding me? Look at how cute this is. And then it just peels right off of the contact paper. Now listen, we're going to use it again. I'm going to show you another thing we do. So here's some parchment paper. Super cool, right? We're going to put that contact paper on top of our parchment paper. Smooth it out. Now you, this you have to smooth out a little bit more because it really doesn't want to stick to the contact paper. So it's good to use this when the contact tech paper is really fresh, and nice and sticky. Um, and then we're going to do the same process. We're going to cut it down eight and a half by 11. Um, is there an easier way to do this? I don't know. Maybe. Likely. Knowing me, likely, but this is the way that works for me. Um, again, so we cut it down to eight and a half by 11. We put it into our um, printer and we're going to print it off. We're going to print the same graphic, the graphic I made. And yeah, I'm kind of jazzed about it. I'm going to make some projects with it. So don't worry. Um, but here we are yet again in my a dusty printer. <laughs> But I print it normally. I just print it normally. It's not on high or anything like that. And then it peels right off of that. Next, third thing is, okay, now I'm using specifically a pink one so that you could see. You want to make sure that it, the contact paper isn't super sticky. This is um, a piece of tissue paper. It's just Dollar Tree tissue paper. So it's super thin. You want to make sure that you really really kind of get a little fuzz on it so that it's not as sticky. We're going to print it just like we did with the others. And here we go. We're going to peel it off. Now you got to be gentle with it because it's tissue paper. But again, I found if you really make the tissue paper, excuse me, the contact paper less sticky, it works like a dream. And look at, ah, this I'll use several times. Um, so I'll use this one after I done, I've done a couple projects with it. It's perfect. I left the pink um, fuzzies on it just so you could see it needed to have fuzzies on it. And then here's the backer. We're going to put that back on and we'll save it for later. But look at all of these options. We can do so many fun projects with these. I'm so excited. Oh, anyways, friends, thanks so much for watching. I hope this inspires you.